since I fully recovered my strength when I drank one of the potions I found. Now I can move on to the next action to escape from this place and possibly revenge, but we'll see about the situation. I use spatial magic that opens portals, probably that's how you can describe it. I'm going to go away for a couple of minutes to find my friends and ask them for help, so please wait for me. And as soon as I said this to the girl, I dived into the blue-purple portal. The girl was clearly surprised by the zeal of her already her friend, and earlier her enemy. This ant is amazing. Find friends and ask them for help, but isn't it too much? I already feel embarrassed just for your help, and you're also going to drag your friends into this complicated and complicated case. While she was talking to herself, trying to understand the reason for her new friend's behavior, the portal that the ant entered closed. Oh, he just disappeared and left nothing behind. Is this spatial magic? Amazing. Taha. What a strange magical beast it is. I've never met anything like this in my life. Although I wouldn't say I've talked to many animals. Some time later, I returned to the girl waiting for me with help. I asked for help from everyone I knew. Oh, hi. I'm sorry that I was so late. After all, there was a need to stay. I had to gather them all together and move them to this place. So once we all got there, I asked you to introduce you to my friends and also to introduce them to you. At this moment, the friends I brought slowly come out of the portal. As soon as they all came out, I introduced them all to my new girlfriend. They're all my friends. Among this group is a raven, a magical beast that can control souls and use 6th level spells, dark claw, spiritual fire, and can also protect the soul. Next to him is a rat king of the first category of the third class, a born king, his weapon is sharp claws. Ant soldier, shadow mouse of the first order, possessing deadly jumps and ant priest of the first order. And Zio high and Zio by are flying from above. As soon as they saw each other, there was some kind of tension or something. I can't explain exactly. These are quite strong opponents. Am I a little confused? Or was she not expecting it? Just what exactly then? In her thoughts, the girl was very surprised. He brought everyone he could. These are insects, birds, mice and ghostly magical beasts. It's a really strange combination. It's like some kind of movie. A strange association, of course. But the girl decided not to hide anything and asked, We are not yet so familiar with you that I would trust you. Are you sure they can help us? Will they be of any use? And that's what worries her. Well, yes, I understand her. For her, these are just ordinary magical beasts and she is completely unaware of their capabilities. You can rely on them. Everyone I brought is very reliable guys. They are strong enough, even if you can't tell it from them, I assure you. If everything were exactly on the turn, I would not risk my friends in any way. As soon as my entire assembled company recovered from the transfer, she began to look around the room in which they found themselves. With all the interest, like children, poking at everything, shouting over each other. Raven, just look there. There are dried corpses of strong magical beasts. It looks like some kind of collection, said the Mouse King, looking somewhere to the side. Are you really stupid? Said the Raven in response to him. These are simple exhibits. Ghosts talk about their own. Boss, this is my first time in the human realm, and is it different in some way? Oh, it's my first time here, too. How they raged, of course I understand them. But they are too loud, something needs to be done. They definitely need to be calmed down. Otherwise they will still be running around the room or worse. So all of you, be silent and listen carefully. Oh, they heard me. This is already progress. So, and now to the main thing. The reason I turn to you for help is as follows. As soon as they all calmed down exactly and started listening exactly, I fully explained the whole situation to them from beginning to end. After a while, as we discussed everything, a question arose. But how can we steal the slave contract that is needed to free the girls? And at the same time not provoke the owner, his son or his guards, although it is unknown what happened to the latter. Since I remember that during the exploration of the corridor and rooms I did not see a single guard. Even when entering this room and she is it very important if you look at the number of things in it. But Sio Hai and Sio Bai immediately volunteered to help. These ghosts are a little uncontrollable and self-willed, but they always follow the main conditions. Boss, just leave this case to us, we'll handle it calmly. Yes boss, don't worry. You, are you guys sure you can do this? The main thing for us is to steal the contract and preferably without hype. You should understand this. So are you sure? Don't worry boss. The dark ghost has definitely come up with something. The prankster, his face confirms it. It's just stealing things. And this is easier than ever. Yes boss. Rest assured. Everything will be fine. But, I knew it. He was definitely up to something. After all this theft, I want to take a few men, just a few. What? Ben? I don't understand why he needs them. Okay, I don't think I want to know. Without having time to say anything in response, the ghosts were already near the door. Well, we won't waste any time and we'll hit the road right away. So they flew through the door and went in search of a contract, and possibly for men. 
After flying through several corridors and rooms in this way, they found themselves in a room that resembled another warehouse of things. Only there were bookcases filled with small objects, boxes and various books. Just in this room there was a former owner who was standing over a strange thing and scrupulously writing something down in a notebook. The ghosts immediately realized that this was the man the boss had told them about. The clothes he is wearing do not look like ordinary ones. It is immediately obvious that this is an expensive fabric, and guards or servants do not wear this. That's him, that's the guy. Now our main goal is to steal the contract that the boss needs. And a little later, when this is all done, we will definitely come for him again. The white man did not answer the dark ghost's tirade, simply deciding to do as he was asked and, if anything, help a friend. To quietly take what they need, they got close to the man from behind. This is his blind spot so he definitely won't see us, and we weren't going to make noise. In his place, I would look after my things, otherwise you never know what. But before doing something or stealing, the ghosts decided to make fun of the man a little. They crept even closer than they were, very close, and abruptly they began to touch and tickle the person. It was very harsh on their part, but what else to expect from them? The man jumped up from this. He was just standing in this room and doing his things, writing down something important, and then he abruptly begins to tickle. It's very strange. What? What was that? Who's there? Come out. And the ghosts are just laughing at this man. Well, you think they would have brought him to a heart attack? Just, haha, haha. But they decided to get back to business. They continued to look for contracts. If this man is doing something important here, then maybe the documents can be here. After looking through several shelves, they found what they were looking for. Dude, the white ghost turned to his friend. Look, I found these papers. They are both contracts. Just like the boss said. The other ghost was very happy about it. Zio Bai is well done. You did a great job. But while the white ghost was rejoicing for the completed task, he did not notice that Zio Hai was holding something. It looks most like fabric, is it pants? Hey, dude, what's that in your hand? We've already found the contracts. Ha, ha, I stole this old man's underwear. He seriously did it. It's just unbelievable. Do you think he'll notice it soon? I even wonder how long this old man will realize this. God, how you stole it from him. To say that Zio Bai is shocked is to say nothing. Don't worry about such small things. It was too easy to do. I didn't even try for this nonsense. And he won't even think that it was done by one of his own. It's too shameful. Well, moreover, this thing is completely useless and there is no value in it. Zio Hai did it for a laugh. But even then it was too easy to steal underpants from this old man under his nose. So after playing enough, he just threw these underpants on the floor. It's not that important. The dark ghost continued, addressing the white one. Better let's take these contracts to the boss and not keep them waiting. It's an important thing for our boss and that girl, so let's not keep them. So they decided to fly back, since they got everything they needed. After flying through the door and several corridors, they returned to the room where their friends are. The ghosts have returned. I hope that with the documents, while they were gone, everyone decided to search the room. Suddenly they will find something interesting. The shadow mouse ate the book, deciding that it was a good snack and the ant priest decided to climb in the chest. Everyone chooses what they like, and what you don't like, leave alone. I'll look at these things again and if I need them, I'll take them away. A dark ghost is coming closer to me, attracting attention. Hey master look, they show me two sheets of paper. Oh these are contracts. They took what they needed. It couldn't have been easier for us to steal these documents. We've dealt with it. Zio Bai interrupts Zio Hai's speech. What? Dude, didn't you steal that old man's underwear? Not the documents. God, what else have they done? I don't even want to know. We need to give the contracts to the girl. She is probably sad now and at the same time sitting alone. Looks very worried. But everything will be fine now. She will soon have nothing to worry about. Soon she will be free with her sister, being not chained by these papers. I turn to her, waving for her to look at us and her contracts. Hey, Zunai. We finally got them. She is clearly surprised by this. She didn't expect the ghosts to be able to do this. How is it? You already got them, it was very fast. Zio Bai fly up to Zunai with contracts, to give them to her right into her hands. Human, the white ghost without any doubt passes the papers directly into the hands of the girl. It seems to be yours, so keep it and never lose it. Zio Bai keeps talking. Since I'm human, I can't read human words, so I'm not sure that's what you need. So check if it's a contract. And then suddenly I was wrong. The white ghost is genuinely worried whether he brought it. It is very cute. In response, the girl checked everything. No, it's fine. That's what I need. Thank you very much. From happiness, the girl begins to burst into tears. It's over and they're finally free. Together, she and her sister together will be free from these nasty people. She hugs those shoddy contracts with all her might when she thinks about it. It shows that she is happier than ever. The smile suits her. I'm glad it turned out that way. It was at this moment that her sister decided to look into this room, seemingly being in search of the elder. Sister, I have some bad news for you. 
The magical beast that we tied up and locked in the storeroom disappeared without a trace. What should we do? She didn't even notice us all at first. But later, having fully considered everything that was happening in this room, she began to take out her sword from behind her back. So you are a magical beast here, as well as my older sister, who is crying for some reason. Did you make my sister cry? How dare you, you animal? As a result, she swung at me and prepared for a jerk. This girl just jumped on me, and I just managed to get to my feet. Even the older sister was taken aback by this and stopped crying. Zhu Ling, come on, stop it now. And everyone else wasn't too worried about me, so I was just running around with this girl. At this moment, the owner was minding his own business, and I heard the company making a fuss in a room nearby. Why is it so noisy outside? In fact, the strange question is they don't even have windows here. Without understanding the reason for all this noise, the old man decided to ask his son. Kevin, I asked him while he was moving the boxes to another part of the room. You don't happen to know what's going on outside, or someone's making too much noise. It must have been that stupid girl who went crazy after she found out the whole truth. Kevin answered the question posed by his adoptive father with confidence. The man did not respond to this, as it sounded very truthful. So he just closed the book, turned around and went on to do his business. But he threw over his shoulder either an order or a request. Kevin, go and see what's going on outside. It's too noisy. So they walked together at the usual pace, passing through a lot of shelves with things, went towards the door leading to the exit of the room. But then the man stepped on something lying in the middle of the room. What is it? Who threw this here? The man looked down at his shoes to examine what he had stepped on. Bending down, he picked up this thing and took a good look. It's some kind of fabric. And then he realized what it was. A what can a pair of underwear do here? This is not the best place to store it. It's my underwear. So where could it have come from here? I don't remember at all that I would have left it somewhere here. And when could it have happened at all? Something's not right here. When the owner picked up this pair of underwear, Kevin also noticed her. Oh, there's someone's underpants. How could they get here? Are they just lying around here? We need to somehow move the conversation to another topic. What kind of cowards? These are not cowards for sure. Damn how to do it. This guy must never find out that these are my underpants. Look at this fabric. They're definitely not cowards. This is a real treasure. And if you couldn't understand even that, then you'll have to study for a long time, maybe even a few years. A kid is perplexed with this. Maybe the man has moved his head. What a treasure it is. Tell me how an ordinary pair of underpants, which you seem to have accidentally left in this room where we store important things, should definitely become a treasure or has an unusual origin, even if this excuse sounds silly. He decided to believe his foster father. He doesn't have much choice. Well, let's say it's some kind of important treasure. Then how is it lying here and not in the treasury? Did someone get there? Did someone get in to the treasury? This definitely can't happen. Absolutely. Why is that? It's a simple door. Is there something special about her? Well, it may be a little thicker than ordinary doors, but that's it. You don't understand at all, do you? I explain for the stupid. This is our ancient treasury of the Chamber of Commerce. It is built specifically with certain ways to open it. Only employees of the General Chamber of Commerce can open it. Vincent examined the door more carefully during the explanation and answered. Well, the door is holding up well, that's understandable. Then isn't it possible to just destroy the wall near it and the matter is solved? That's a funny enough suggestion. Break a stone wall. It still needs to be able to do this. So it will also be a burglary. Yes, no one will even dare to pass by our ancient treasury, which stores important and expensive items. Think for yourself. Our ancient bow chamber of commerce is one of the three largest treasuries. During this conversation, the man begins to turn the mechanism that unlocks the door of the treasury itself, but it is impossible to scroll beyond one turn. What? The owner is in turmoil from what is happening now. How is it that he can't open this door? It's very strange. In fact, on the opposite side, our company blocked the mechanism with a dagger and beads from the same storage, so that people from the outside could not open the door. Vincent doesn't understand at all what could have happened to this door, and he just looks at all this with an unreadable look. Well, this, his foster father also does not know what really happened to this door. He made a decision. Well, since we can't open this damn door ourselves, then call the girl behind this door and ask her to open the door for us. This is the best choice that we have. Of course, I don't really want to ask her for something, but what can we do? Well what? We need to do something, let's decide. And by the way, where is her sister? She can help us. The adopted son is just in shock from this. Ask someone for help. He would never do that. And what? He answers the man. Even if I call her, she's not going to do anything. Well, then we have only one way out. We need to break down the door. I really don't want to do this, but suddenly a thief has penetrated inside. Then he will definitely steal their entire treasury. At the same moment, on the other side of the door, we have already collected all the necessary things and are ready to go to the base. Please help me take these things back. I don't need them. 
She didn't take much with her. Is that all? You're absolutely sure. Maybe you'll take some furniture with you. Our base is located in a cave and there is definitely no furniture there, I assure you. The girl was a little surprised by this turn. I completely forgot to tell you about our base. This is my mistake. What? Do you live in a cave? I did not know. Well, if you think about it, even the best possible option. The problem is that the escape of a slave from his master is currently recognized as a criminal offense. This is a very terrible thing. So it would be impossible for me and my sister to live in another place. Hiding from people. So a cave is a good option, even if we don't have furniture. Of course I understand her. This is a sharp change of life and so on, but something carried her into the wilds. But if we live in a cave, we will be able to wash, we may also have lice. And we won't be able to bask in the sun. And what will happen when Zhu Ling gets older? Can she feel disconnected from society? And will not be able to interact with peers? What about shopping? Where are we going to buy clothes or weapons? She's obviously too worried about her sister. We need to calm her down somehow. Otherwise she will continue to worry, then she will always wind herself up like this. Don't worry. There's no point in you worrying about such little things, it's still solvable. And about everything you said, leave it to me. And live in peace. I kind of calmed her down. No, by no means. You've already done so much for me and my sister, how can I bother you anymore? She worries too much about everything. She seems to think that my actions are not completely pure coin. Well, I'm definitely not going to demand anything from her. It's all good. Oh, you definitely need to tell her about that contract. And by the way, one more thing. Your sister signed a contract with me on equality. Anyway, I can't betray her for some indefinite time. She wasn't surprised by the news at all. It sounds like I'll be under your care. Is it bad? On the contrary, it's great when friends always help each other. At this moment, the girl puts her hand on the magic book and a gentle glow appears. As soon as this happened, the owner and his son began to knock down the door of the treasury. And they did it, even almost from the first time. It turns out the door is quite flimsy and the man praised it in vain. When they entered the vault, no one was in it anymore. Even the treasures were all gone. What's going on here? The owner of all this was in complete shock. A place with treasures. It's completely empty. There's nothing left. How could this happen? He was very angry. It can't even be put into words. All his treasures were gone. As if they had never existed at all. Zhu Nai. It's all you. He clenched his fist with furious force. He is full of indignation. I will definitely make you and your sister regret everything that happened here. We need to get out of this situation. Otherwise it will not be very good for us. Kevin, immediately go to the city hall and cordon off the whole city. Catch those who stole everything from the vault. Who exactly do you mean? I don't quite understand. Are you probably talking about Zhu Nai? Well, that's understandable, but who else? You said they. So you're assuming that someone helped her. But then who was able to get into the vault? You thought right. She couldn't take out all the external storage alone. There was a huge amount of stuff, so it's clear that someone helped her, and it's not a fact that it's her sister. Good. Vincent understood what his father was talking about. Someone got into the building and helped them. I'm going to find them. And in order not to waste time, he immediately ran out of the building, so as not to waste the extra time that he had left. I assumed everything, but I certainly didn't expect that the treasures from the external storage would be stolen. We need to solve the problem as soon as possible, exactly before the people who work here notice this loss. How did other people get here? It's almost impossible. And how did they leave unnoticed? Okay, Vincent has already gone to solve this issue. We'll leave everything to him. Well, we quietly moved to the exit of the building, so you can already relax. I also sent these two forward to the base. Good luck. I'll see you later. Meanwhile, get settled in. As soon as they passed, I closed the portal. How well everything is going. We quietly escaped from these men. So they also took their goods. How wonderful it is. Well, now you can safely go home. I was going to calmly go home and solve some problems. But how can I just walk away from here? I should mock them a little for the sake of my own happiness. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I'll have some fun. At this point, I made a very bad gesture, consisting in the fact that the middle finger is stretched up or down, and the other four fingers are pressed against the palm. It was at this moment, when I showed this indecent sign, the owner's son came out of the door of the building. It was necessary for it to happen like this, I'm obviously lucky today. But I didn't see him when I just put out my hand, so he came out a little later. Okay, let's omit it. I'm just a little ordinary demon passing by, and I definitely didn't show you the middle finger, forget it all. You didn't see it and nothing happened. Oh, it's definitely late, and such a little demon shouldn't stay here. It's very dangerous here, and it's much better at home. So I'd better go home quickly before something suo dangerous happens. While, immediately I rushed away from this building. It was necessary to stumble upon this kid like that. Although, what could I expect, being right in front of the building? 
When I turned away, the kid was just leaving the building and was clearly calm. But as soon as I walked away at the same moment I heard a clear step in my direction. This kid pulled as hard as he could. I felt it. He's running straight towards me. I turned around to make sure of this. Maybe it seems to me and I just had my imagination running wild. He really rushed to me. God, what to do? Uh, I have to run. He'll grab me. But does he have a reason? Who cares? We have to run. Mom, how scary. Get him away from me. For a while we kept running like that. He was running after me. And I was running because he was running. I was scared to death. While all this was happening, I was desperately trying to figure out what to do since I wouldn't last long. Immediately he leveled off with me and began to run alongside. It looks like I'm going to die now. And he won't even look at my dead body. But suddenly I tripped over a stone. It was necessary. It's just a little pebble. I'm going to die for sure, I thought, already lying on the ground. My life was very short, but such is fate. Lord, have mercy on your servant. Have mercy and do not do the same. Be merciful. So I lay on the ground and waited for the terrible agony. I was ready for death. But instead of stopping, the kid just ran on, just stepping over me. What? The guy ran on and pushed off from the ground with all his might, raising a little dust in the air, and flew up to the roof of the building. What? I don't understand anything at all right now. He wasn't going to do anything to me. This is how it happened. He was obviously running after me for a reason, or it seemed to me after all. Well, it's good that it seemed. The guy also didn't understand what was wrong with this ant. What the hell? And what was that? Well, he's not up to it now. He needs to find the one who robbed their treasury. After all, he didn't run before me. But damn, how this kid scared me. Who does that at all? He just starts running somewhere. But this fool does not know that I stole everything from their treasury. And they are blind as always. I was just standing right in front of you. But you saw absolutely nothing. You are complete fools. By the time I was calling these fools all the words I knew, someone was trying to shout at me. It was some familiar voice. Brother Ant, it's you. Before I could turn around, a small bird, without feathers on its head, clung to my leg. Oh, my God, I'm glad you weren't hurt. You're not hurt, I hope. Oh, it is you. Brother Bird. Suddenly someone from behind grabbed me by my mustache on my head. And who took it up like that? And these are those girls. Where they come from? 29. The girl holds me with obvious disdain and great complacency. Hey, you, why are you grabbing the antenna on my head? And what are you gonna do? Just hold her. Let her go already. You absolutely don't need it. Good. Oh, did she agree? I'll let you go. But in return you'll tell me what happened to that bird's head. It is you who will be responsible for what happened. Damn, what to do? This really happened. But at first I decided not to pay attention to it. And that's what it's brought me to now. Exactly I can ask my friend to explain to me what really happened. This is the best solution available. Brother Bird, save me. Explain everything to me. Please, I'm belittling you, otherwise I won't live. Don't worry, man. You can leave it to me. I will make everything beautiful. I hope he tells the girls everything correctly and I won't get hit on my head. Now give me a minute. I need to think about the best way to explain it to them. In short look Brother Ant is my best friend, and he looked after me when I was unconscious and only he can understand me. While he was showing an explanation and gestures, both girls looked at me very strangely as if they were about to rush with their fists, but in fact, they misunderstood the gestures with which the chick explained everything. His listeners understood everything like this. Look at my head, you see this bold spot here? That's exactly what he did. The chick pointed at me at that moment. It happened while I was sleeping. He tore all my feathers from my head. At that time I did not know that they understood the words wrong, completely contrary to the truth. So I started asking if the girls understood. How about this? Do you understand now? Yes of course. She stood rooted to the spot, without reacting in any way. Later, she looked at me without taking off her malicious gaze, which burned a huge hole in me. Now I understand everything. Completely everything. How could you do such a thing with an ordinary chick? How could you pull all the feathers out of his head while he was sleeping peacefully? You don't regret what you did at all. Why? Why does she say that? My heart is definitely broken. If you don't realize your mistake at all, then I'll teach you a lesson and you'll understand everything right away. She said, putting her palm on my head, slowly leaning towards me. Wait, this definitely cannot be allowed. You can't do this to me. Remember, I saved your life. Since you can do such bad things to me. Damn it, that stupid bug is playing his cards again. How can I not kill you on the spot? I don't even know. She approached me and began to calmly pronounce. Next time I'll be gentle with you, I promise. About what she's talking about. I didn't understand. But I agree, it sounds very attractive. Sure, I agree. Then she just started talking about massage with a pretty face. Jingling are you very tired? Maybe you want me to give you a massage. For example, back. It sounds very nice. God, I didn't even feel that I was tired. But as soon as you said that, I immediately got sick. Looks like I'm really tired. At the same moment, she abruptly throws me to the floor and begins to beat me fiercely without regret at all. 
If that's the case, then I'll give you a really cool massage. You'll definitely like it, I'm sure of it. And while I was being beaten up, my buddy Bird and another girl were hiding from my furious girlfriend. He wouldn't even advise that to an enemy. I feel something soft under me. This is definitely not earth. Bed. I'm on the bed. When I had time, I remember being beaten by that red-haired girl and nothing else. It looks like I passed out from my wounds. At least I'm thinking now. At that moment, Brother Bird suddenly started flying over me. He's doing something. It looks like he's treating me. This is most likely. I begin to feel my body slightly. The pain is very strong. I already choked on my own blood. Then someone screamed sharply. It really scared me. Why can't I heal him? It looks like while I was lying here unconscious, the girls were talking very loudly in the hallway. It's just wounds don't worry about it so much about Kiyu Kiyu. Yes, the wounds are very serious. But the problem is that he is too weak. This is the reason that he cannot recover. He just needs to rest. Understand that. I can't see her face at all, and I can't fully understand her intonation. She's probably upset, but I can only guess about it. So this means that even potions and healing magic won't work on Kiyu Kiyu. It's bad. Kiyu Kiyu. They're talking about someone else. This is clear from what they say, mentioning not my name. It bothers me, probably even scares, and I can't even say what the reason for this behavior is. What to do? Immediately, the girl explodes, expressing everything that lies on her soul to another girl right now, but I'll eavesdrop a little. I don't think that will be a problem. The career assessment exam will take place in the next few days. So the knights need to bring a familiar, and if I don't bring Kikyu, then I won't even be able to enroll there and I'll have to wait a whole year to enroll again. I need to do something for sure. Her interlocutor stops the flow of her words. Wait, don't panic. Remember that you can find any magical beast and sign a temporary contract with it, and later you can betray to break the contract. Oh wait, we also have a familiar magical beast. This is Jinglang. What, me? So why not ask him to pair up with you on this exam? It's an interesting idea, but why should I agree after what happened? They continue their conversation, something can be heard. But how can this jerk help me with this? Yes, he has some skills, I'm sure of it, but he didn't even resist when I beat him. They agreed with her opinion. Yes, you're probably right. He's a little weak. Why did she look at me like that? There was such dislike in her gaze that it was already sickening. What have I done? As soon as this girl came up to me, my friend stopped treating me and flew a little to the side. The girl who came up to me began to decisively shower me with her kindness, starting to smile sharply, as if that vile look did not exist. You're awake. How are your wounds? How did you sleep? Why did she worry about me so abruptly from this is not very comfortable? It feels too strange. I'm sorry about what I've done recently. She's looking at me too hard. I'm uncomfortable, very strongly. In fact, I didn't know that you and this chick have such a good friendly relationship. I clearly made a mistake in my decision, so I apologize to you. She pulls out a small bag from somewhere. See, I even bought you a present. She smiles so sweetly. I don't like it. There's definitely some kind of setup here. I don't even want to see what's in this bag. But my brother Bird liked the gift idea more than me, so he was fascinated by the proffered bag. But I'm not sure of anything anymore. I decided not to hold grudges. Did you buy me a present? Amazing. Do you really want something from me? I can't think of anything else. Just tell me honestly. There's something wrong with his reaction. Did he really hear our conversation? But he shouldn't have. But we need to minimize all doubts. How does her cheeky smile infuriate me? How long has it been possible? Isn't she tired of it? Let me warn you. Just don't think that it's easy to bribe me with gifts. I definitely won't let you do that. But she decided to deny it, pretending that I didn't know what I was talking about. You think too much. It's just a gift. At least accept it as an apology. So she decided to just pretend to be a nice girl who doesn't understand other people's hints at all. A bold decision, but I'm not going to fall for this since I know her real one without any unnecessary nonsense about the fact that I recently bullied you. Well, can you not be upset about such a small thing? Is she serious? She beat me almost to death. Don't worry about it. I wasn't going to take it seriously, much less resent you for such a trifle. She seemed to take my words seriously. I see. Then let's stay friends, okay? How infuriating she is with her smiles and caustic pretense. You think too much. Think carefully who wants to be friends with a person like you. I managed to hurt her a little. The cute girl's mask has come off and now I recognize my friend's face. You're a scoundrel. Well, that's better than nothing. And if you stop being so aggressive, then maybe I'll think about being friends with an idiot like you, then maybe something will work out. She responded with a small smile. Really? Then I'll be much more careful next time. Will there be a next time? We'll see. Well, finally she decided to leave me alone with myself and of course my friend chick. Too late, so I won't disturb your delicate peace. Good night and good dreams to you. The chick watched intently as my friend left the room and closed the door behind her. After that, he turned to the window and walked slowly towards it. Flying up close, he sat down on the window frame, 
and then turned to me. Well, bro aunt, I'm going back home. He's already in such a hurry. I stopped him. Wait, wait. Actually, I have one problem that I need your help with. I said this hopefully to my friend. Of course, what is it? I will definitely help you, don't worry about it. He said it with such zeal at my request, it warmed my soul already. Together with the chick, with the help of spatial magic, we move to the base. After we have entered, the blue-purple portal closes. Since the chick has never been here, at first he could not understand exactly where we are. My friend tell me, what is this place? That's right, this is the base that my brothers and I built together. I happily explained to him, I am very proud of my work and the work of my brothers. Looking out of the shelter a little, I can perfectly see my friends who are raking new things, not forgetting to help each other. It is clear that they got along well. There's a little girl chatting with a dark ghost, and her older sister is talking about something with a white one. I am very glad that they have no dislike, and I hope their good relationship will continue in the future. After all, they still have to live on the same base, but I think everything will be fine after all. You can see right here that they like each other. I considered my other friends. The raven and the mouse king are literally mesmerized by the box of food. A little more and nothing will remain of it at all. And a little further away from them is Sue. She helps the sisters in the transportation of things and furniture, which they still took according to my instruction. So deciding not to stand still just like that, I decided to approach my friend and help her with the transfer of things. So, please move this box to the pantry. Yes, that's probably where she belongs. As soon as I approached, she immediately noticed me. Though, your highness, you're here. Are you all right? She is genuinely happy to see me, even a little worried. It's cute. Hi and Zoo, are you busy? I see you have nowhere else to do. Can I help you? She's supposed to help the girls settle in here, and while I'm gone, she looks after everything here. I'm so sorry. I've only just realized how many responsibilities I've thrown at you. You have so much responsibility. I don't even know how to help her. I hope I can somehow lighten her burden. It's all right. This is exactly what I have to do. I have to help you. And the fact that I can do it pleases me. I assure you. Good. Whatever you say. I'm glad you're happy. She is very nice. She breathes warmth and comfort. As soon as it is possible to injure such an ant. Oh, by the way. How is your injured leg? Does it hurt? If I understand correctly. Then now it should no longer hurt and more or less heal. To this she was only confused and answered very simply. Thank you for your concern. Your majesty, it's very kind of you. Everything is fine now. It doesn't hurt at all, so you don't have to worry. Are you sure about your words? Let me examine her just in case. Then I will definitely be calm. It's true, if I make sure myself, then I won't ask her anymore, since I'll know exactly about it. But then she rejected my offer. No, I cannot. Why? Was I pushing too hard? I don't think so. Explain to me why you decided that. Why not? Don't you want to let me see? There's nothing to be shy about. But I still won't insist too much. Do you want to examine my leg right here? Well okay, as you wish. It's not a big problem. Of course I'm a little shy, but I'll get over it. And so that's it. She's just shy, then everything is clear. After this conversation, we went to look for a place where Izu can comfortably sit down and I will examine her wound in more detail. A little further away, where we were talking earlier, we found a small ledge with a flat top, a great place to sit. So I sat my interlocutor down and with extreme caution began to examine the injured limb. She decided to speak first. Your Majesty, you don't have to worry so much about this. It's just a slight sprain, and in the future I would not like to bother you about such trifles. Well, haven't you finished your check yet? Why is she in such a hurry? It's better that I calmly examine her now than something will happen later. Are you seriously sure your leg is okay now? I'm not really. So I continued to check my leg further until I found one place. This place still hurts. The sprain hasn't healed yet. Now it's clear why she was in such a hurry. Everything is fine, I assure you. But you can't tell that from your reaction. You really force yourself to do all these things when you have a serious enough sprain. Don't do that, I'm asking you. Otherwise, you'll work so hard in the end. Don't talk like it's a serious injury. This little injury is a mere trifle. I assure you, explain to me what it means nothing special. And suddenly it will get even worse and no one will be there to help you. Think about it better. I'm really worried about you, and you're doing this to me. Since I gave her instructions, now she thinks about it in a completely different way. Well, I hope so. I'm very sorry, your highness. This will not happen again. Well, that's something. I'm glad you understood something from this conversation. The main thing is to understand. I'm not saying that you did something wrong. I just don't want you to exhaust your strength too much and try to rationally understand where your boundaries are. This is the only thing I want from you. As soon as I finished this speech, I pulled my hand towards Izu's head and stroked her. It was an unconscious action, but it did not cause dislike and as I look, both mine and hers. Well, my bro, now I'm going to rely on you. Look after them all while I'm not around. I hope for you very much. This bird took my offer seriously. Let me figure it out. He told me. 
and he flew towards Izu, probably for something important, I'm not sure why myself. It turns out that the bird flew to Izu to cure her. Well, she was absolutely delighted with it. It's unbelievable. I'm completely cured. How could this happen? I'm glad to see her so cheerful. Just be careful, please. You've just been cured, and you're already jumping like that. Be careful and be sure to take good care of yourself. After all, if everything continues like this, I will start to get angry that she is so careless towards herself. But yes, I hope this is still far away. As you say, king of the ants. So they quickly ran away on business, and we didn't even say goodbye normally. I'm sorry I bothered you. I told the chick as soon as we were alone. You understand that your help was not needed. It's alright, I'm doing a little good deed. This is also part of my decision, so there's nothing more to say. And with you because of this, I will soon break the connection. Oh and for a long time you will remember it to me. The feathers on your head were really pulled out by me here I confess, but I'm really sorry. I sincerely repent to you, just look at me. At this moment, the master appears out of nowhere. Why are you fighting over some feathers? Just because they're not on your head doesn't mean they can't reappear there. They can be restored, so don't worry. But the master is you. In fact, this does not surprise me so much, which cannot be said about my interlocutor. The bird was very much surprised by his appearance, which already stopped chirping about trifles. By the way, returning to the conversation about the situation that happened at that moment, there is also my fault in what happened. The master took this situation very seriously. But instead, the bird decided to pretend to be dead. Enough is enough, you fat chick. The master could not stand it and began to shout harshly at my friend while beating him with a staff. Do I look so scary that you have to faint every time we meet? As soon as he calmed down a little and stopped beating the chick, I decided to ask the master something. And if there is a way to return these plucked feathers to the normal state they had before they were plucked, that was a good enough question, but is there a quick recovery option? It will be easy to do. Much easier than you think. We don't even need any potion. You just need to lower it into the Huelong River, and by tomorrow everything that is not there should grow again. Yes, this is a fairly simple option. And another tool that we need is available right under our noses, it's just perfect. So is the Huelong River. The only question, what is the best way to get to it? It's probably best to use soldier ants, who are just doing business next to me. I'll interrupt them for a while. Soldiers, take the chick, and send him to the Huelong River. Let him take a good bath there until he wakes up, just make sure he doesn't die. But then I turned to the master. I realized something else. Master, I was wondering if there would be a re-evolution if we threw him into the river. He is a little surprised by my question, but by his face he is not averse to explaining the difference to me at all. What are you talking about? Evolution. The master refuted all my arguments. It's just the Huelong River and nothing else special. It's used to purify souls. And to allow the evolution of an animal is just a certain feature of it, which happens quite rarely. So also this feature helps only at certain levels. The rest of the levels will depend on their own sources. During our conversation, we decided to take a walk and accidentally bumped into Zhu Niai, who also noticed me, but I was carried away by the conversation so I couldn't say hello properly. Master, I'm wondering if you have any other ways to level up. Just if you think about it, there should be many more such ways, but I do not know of any such. Well, look, there is one option. To improve your levels, you just need to study and study very hard, then your labors will be rewarded. In this case, the work will be facilitated only if you have any special features. Oh well, if you judge then this is not a special opportunity for meetings with my favorite master. He laughed a little with such a statement, but was quite happy. I need to get stronger. I need strength to protect my home and my loved ones, and in humans. After a little thought, the master agreed. Good, I will teach you the basics and from that moment on you will improve yourself, do you understand me? I will give you a boost for development, but you have to go your own way yourself, you have to understand this. Your trouble will definitely be only your own work and no one else's. I understand perfectly. In any life, you always need to achieve everything yourself, otherwise you will collect problems later, but you will not be able to solve them. Don't worry, master, I understand what you're talking about. After finishing the conversation with the master, he learned all the most interesting things and calmed down. So he decided to start a normal conversation with the girl since they met. Hello again to Zhu Niai. Hello to you, too. It's so great that you can safely return home through the portal. No matter how you look, you are in complete integrity and safety. And not hurt at all. It looks like you didn't have time to run into trouble on the way here. Yes, I am also most happy about this. Our dialogue started well. You can hear from the manner of speech that she feels open with me. Probably these feelings are similar to the feeling of home. I hope so. It pleases. Immediately she noticed the master. In fact, it's hard not to notice him, even though he's small. He is still very noticeable for his energy and benevolence. That's right. I present to you my dear master. Hello, young lady. Glad to meet you. The owner addresses her. There was some confusion on the girl's face, as if she remembered something. That voice reminds me of something. 
Exactly. That's the voice that was in the store. Yes, it was me. I was also present when Jingling fought with you. Please forgive me. The girl apologized with all sincerity. It was immediately obvious that she was worried. Jingling has done many mean deeds in the past. Therefore, what happened happened. It's a little embarrassing to remember that. This is a past that does not need to be mentioned and can be safely forgotten. The master just laughed heartily at this. He didn't seem to care much about this past. This should also serve as a lesson for this little scoundrel. So that's the position he's looking at it from. Then everything is clear. But then abruptly the master turns to me in a bizarrely affectionate voice. Jingliang while staring intently into my eyes. Since I don't understand at all what he wants from me, I'll just answer him the same. A long look with a hint of a question. What is happening now is not clear. Jingliang, he begins in a serious tone. Of course, I understand that you liked her at first sight, but there was no need to bring her home. What? What are you talking about? God, how can I not stop being indignant when this man talks such nonsense? Well, explain to me when did I bring someone home? This situation is becoming increasingly chaotic and awkward. What? He does not understand at all that he has said too much. Think for yourself why this beautiful girl should stay in a cave with such a monster. God, this is some kind of mockery. Just look at Zunyai. She turned completely red, just like a tomato. Why embarrass her so much? While they were dealing with this awkward situation, Zuling came running to them, paired with a dark ghost. They became good friends in a short time, which is very good, so the girl will not be alone. Master, they have a reason to stay here indefinitely. I object. Well, what kind of reason is that, so dedicate me? It's not that simple. As soon as Zhu Ling came up to us, she called her sister to attract her attention. The other responded. She became terribly interested in what her younger sister had come to show. Pointing at the creature with her finger, she spoke. Only spirits talk in this cave. It's so boring. I can't go on like this. It's just awful. Dear sister, bear with this for a while. Please, we will stay here for a little while. And a little later we will decide what we will do. What? Will we ever go back to those uncles? While the sisters were talking, the master was listening very intently to their claims and perhaps learning something new for himself. Oh, are you exactly like a young man? Oh my god, this man decided to remember about me. He's definitely going to say something stupid right now. And then explain to me exactly what he wanted to say and apologize again. It's just awful. What is this person's mood today? Maybe I didn't get enough sleep. Jingling, of course I understand everything, but this is too much. Sympathy for a young girl is understandable, but the other lady is too young for this kind of sympathy. What are you talking about? I can't understand where your tongue is going today. I don't even know what the master thinks of me if he says such words about me. Master, please explain to me how I look in your eyes at all. It's just that you say things that make my heart ache. I seem to be an adequate aunt in moderation, but you say this to my face. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You, you're a fool who drools when he sees a beautiful lady. What are you talking about? I'm already screaming out of embarrassment. You say that about yourself. Who else here drools when he sees beautiful ladies? Finally, we finished this strange dialogue about the ladies. I don't even know who to thank for it. And we moved on to more important conversations about the situation of Zhu Ling and Zhu Nei. Let's get started. Well what? The master starts, attracting my attention. Jingling what can you say about this? It is important for me to know what situation these two are actually in. Master, you know I'm only telling you the truth. In fact, these people are slaves who were bought by the owners of the store, so they were forced to do bad things in order to survive, or rather they were ordered and because of the contract they could not disobey. Master please understand me I just let them hide from the chase. In response, he just said, Yes, I see a young man. But in the meantime, he was deep in thought about something. These two are too pure, and you, Master, think about everything. And these are dirty things. He did not react to my statement in any way. Only after being silent for a while he replied. These two children are too pathetic. It is impossible not to save them. So he went to the girls. I kind of got the gist of the situation you're in. He started for a start. And I apologize to you for having to live in a cave. But these two only stare at him in bewilderment. Answering the man with all sincerity. It's such nonsense. You don't have to worry about it. And our past situation is no better than what is happening now. While the adults were talking, Zhu Ling had a question, which she wasn't afraid to ask out loud. She is a very fearless girl. And tell me, why is this grandpa so small? He's a human being, not some fairy. And all people should be bigger than he is now. The master probably liked this child because of her straightforwardness. What a cute kid. By the way, child, I remember your recent exclamation, do you want to talk not only with souls, but also with magical beasts? The girl was very surprised by this and only jumped up with the words. Can grandpa really help me talk to other animals? It's true. The girl was very surprised by the man's question. Suddenly, the master abruptly used one spell and began to change in size. Both girls were surprised by the change in the man's appearance, because recently he was the size of a palm. 
so the owner became an ordinary human size. Immediately, Zhu Nyai decided to notify the man of something. Oh, my sister is spoiled dumb, so don't pay attention to some of her words. She sometimes talks too much and may not understand the value of some things at all, but in fact she is a very smart child for her age. The master reacted quite calmly not to the words of his younger sister. He <laughs> he, it's not a problem at all for me to solve this issue. With the help of some simple spells for me, she will be able to understand magical beasts. It's also as easy as it can be for me. Zhu Nyai, even though the master has notified her, she still looks a little worried. So young lady, I'm going to say a spell of a few words now and after it make sure that you have made friends with a magical beast, you will definitely be able to, I'm sure of it. Zhu Ling was very happy about this statement from the male wizard. Don't worry, I will definitely make friends with all the magical beasts. And I will behave well, I promise. Well, now I'm going to cast spells. Don't interrupt me. Immediately, the man begins to conjure, saying the learned words. His staff begins to sparkle, releasing beautiful flashes of magic. It looks very fascinating. After saying the last words, he fills the staff with even more magic and its glow increases. After all this, the master directs the flow of magic towards the girls, and the flow of the glowing spell captures them. What is this? They've never seen anything like this before. These are real miracles. So on, I need someone I can play with, or more precisely, link a spell with. He says it out loud. So he starts looking for the thing he needs. As a result, he chooses two spirits as a binder. So he directs a glowing stream of magic at them. What is he doing? Both spirits are at a loss. They're starting to feel weird. It glitters and glows looks very beautiful. What is happening to them now? But no one understands this except the sorcerer himself who has almost completed his spell. Immediately, the spirit's bodies begin to change greatly externally. A barely visible outline of the body and hair appears. The white spirit has a light pink square, and the dark spirit has bright pink long tails. They also had clothes, but there were still bandages on their heads, reminding them that they were spirits, but now with a body similar to a human one. They even have different clothes. The white ghost is wearing a dress with several layers in white and lavender with a bright pink bow at the waist, and the dark ghost has a black and gray suit consisting of a leather shirt top, leather shorts with a wide belt and long stockings. Hey dude, what just happened? I don't really understand how we got like this. I don't understand either. The dark ghost answers him. After the spell was completely spoken and completed and the ghost's bodies were completely changed, the master lifted into the air all the things that were brought by the girls for convenience. What is he going to do with all this? He has already surprised us with the change of the appearance of ghosts, so it looks like he is still going to help in the furnishing of the room of two girls. It's not right for them to carry heavy things. It looks like there will be an arrangement soon. All items raised by magic, as I suggested. The master lifted all the furniture into the air with the help of magic in order to properly arrange it in the room in which Zhu Nyai and Zhu Ling will live for a while. While he was able to adapt the furniture to the cave so that it looked more or less cozy, he put a small table in the middle of the room, placing a small sofa and an armchair near it. A closet stood a little further away and there were small bedside tables with a mirror near the stairs. And the whole room is illuminated by purple crystals, giving the room a certain charm. Zhu Ling couldn't get enough of this beauty. It's so amazing. The elder sister stood in shock, not even able to utter a word. Looking around the room, she tried to figure out what had just happened. It took just one moment and everything is ready, it's just incredible. Well, how do you like this room is suitable for you? The master was proud of himself, and the reaction of the girls brought pleasure, so he did a great job. He acted with such careful and clever movements, now I wonder, what is the master of Jinglin really and what powers does he possess? I really like this room. She's just gorgeous. The girl answers the man's question. It's very good that you like her. Then Zhu Nai hears an unknown voice. It looks like magical beasts are talking to each other. The dialogue is conducted by a raven and a mouse-like beast. I say, I ate everything that was in this box, especially sausage. She smelled so delicious that she was already drooling like a stream. As soon as I remember her taste, mm, it was the best thing I ate. It looks like they're discussing a box of food standing between them. Really, it was so delicious. That's how you described it to me. Now I also have to try this sausage. It would be strange if I forbade them to take our provisions. Now they are shared. Since I can talk, I decided to tell them myself. So I slowly approached them. If you want to eat, then just take what you want. And you don't have to ask me or my sister about it. The magical beasts didn't understand what had just happened at all. They definitely didn't imagine it. And this person was just talking to them. Yes, this cannot be. The mouse turned to the raven. Don't you think she's not herself? She was just talking to us. Yes, I heard that too. I thought it was my imagination. The raven answered him, so it may not have seemed to them. And the raven decided to ask the person directly. They won't lose anything from it anyway. And it's not a fact that she went crazy. Human, he turned to the girl. How can you speak the language of beings? He asked with obvious disdain. 
not fully believing that a person would be able to answer him. Oh, so magical creatures have a separate language. It looks like that's what it's called. It seems that the girl herself did not expect that she would still answer her interlocutor. She really answered the animal's question. It's unbelievable. When we talk, we make a strange throat sound. Raven decided to explain everything to the man. Once you understand the rhythm of the sound, you will be able to understand it. She can really understand everything we say. Amazing. Then, what will we ask her about? We have so many options. A good choice. Since man is intelligent, we should try to learn more than we know now. Did I hear you correctly? Did you say sausage? Yes. Do you know how sausage is made? We tried it from your supplies. So, need to remember how the sausage is made there correctly. If I remember correctly, first we finely chop the edible meat into something similar to porridge in consistency, and then we stuff it into the intestines of the animal and fry it all on fire. So it turns out the sausage that you ate. That's exactly what I didn't expect, it's something new. The mouse reacted to the story. Is this a human punishment? The raven replied. They definitely did not like the sausage cooking process, and their interest has clearly decreased. Then I'd rather not eat sausage, said the mouse. Then I won't either, the crow supported him. Then tell us if people have any more delicious food besides sausage. We are very interested. Yes, what else is there? Tell. So some magical beasts gathered around the girl. In fact, we have a lot of different delicious food. And how much is it? And what is the most delicious food? And what else can people turn into food? The questions came one after another. She seems tired of their pressure. It looks like Lang is a very nice and sweet girl, but she's in trouble, so why don't you save her? Isn't the shelter safe? What could have happened to her here? It looks like everyone has fallen in love with her on the contrary and they are definitely not going to let her go. 63. Well, since you're asking about delicious food. HM. From the sweet, I can advise you a cake and an apple pie. They are very unique in taste and both are very tasty, as well as a baked steak is very good. They all crowd around her and don't take a step away, they'll crush her like that. Why the crow and the rat surrounded Zunyai? I don't like all this. Hey guys, what are you guys talking about for so long with Zunyai? They're starting to strain me. They're so wrapped up around her. Boss, we just want to know what delicious food people eat. They have so many different things that you can eat it for years to come. Listen too. It is very interesting. By the way, did you know that the products that the girls brought with them as a gift will be stacked together with other products in the warehouse? I advise you to check them. And suddenly they could disappear. They can be lured by talking about food and they will always buy into them. A human food. Now if you mention human food to them in conversation, then they will definitely not be able to calm down. So all the magical beasts rushed to the warehouse to check if everything was in place and maybe to eat something. They're just curious kids. And they have evil intentions, I hope you understand that. And why am I explaining such stupid things to her? It's already obvious. But she greeted this information with a smile. Actually I think it's pretty cute. Well, you can't argue with her here, although in fact they are sometimes very annoying. They are different from the magical creatures I usually see, and I didn't know how to talk to them before. Suddenly she came up to me abruptly, but I never thought that there would be such a cute and smart guy among the magical beasts. Is she talking about me? Why did she bring it up? So she also started stroking my head, even very intensely. I'm not used to such affection from other people. It's a little embarrassing to be praised. So it's also a girl. I'm just a little different from other animals, there's no such thing. And yet these strokes are pleasant. So, why did I give myself into her hands so easily at all? I just remembered that I need to do something. So forgive me, but I have to leave. I'd better leave. I'm not used to trust people so much. Oh, the girl was surprised by the sudden change of mood of the ant, but decided not to ask him anything. He's angry. I didn't do anything serious to make him angry, did I? She asked the master. In response to this, the master flew to his ward, who was walking briskly away from the room. Haha, <laughs> I would never have thought that you would run away from the fact that I recently put you in jail. This man definitely decided to make fun of me, for the feelings shown to the girl. Well, you think I relaxed a little, what's the big deal? Am I confused? Nothing like that. I just remembered that I have an urgent matter. He's definitely mocking me. I can't get off him, how can I shut him up? Don't worry, I understand everything perfectly. The master begins to calm him down. We are our own masters, and we don't have to be shy. When I was young, I had something else. Hey, there were times. I already said it's not like that, so calm down already. And Zunai only looks at their bickering with a sweet smile. It looks homey, 